I got it. The Venus Tear. Now that is quality. Oh yes, this is the real deal. Now, hand over the horse and cart like you promised. I never promised that. I said I'd think about it when you bought me the goods. And I've thought about it now, and I'm still not giving it back. You can keep the stone. Oi! That ain't what you promised. That's a pretty low trick, Red. I'm surprised at ya. Promises? You want to talk about promises? If I remember rightly, you promised me ages ago you'd bring me that stone. What? That was years ago. You can't dredge up the past like that. Well, you're in no position to argue. I ain't saying it again. The horse stays with me. Yeah, right. I was out of line before, breaking me promise to you and all. I ain't surprised you're act off with me. But this ain't just about me now. I can't leave without the horse. It's for the guff. Look, do what you want with me. But I'm begging you, give the horse back. <laughs> hey? Oh. All right, all right. Behave, would ya? Stop groveling about on the floor. Be a man. Well? I thought I'd have a bit of fun with you, but you've lost it. Have the horse. Do what you want with it. But I'll be keeping that Venus tear. That's what we agreed, right? Yeah, fair enough. Thanks, Red, and sorry about everything. Oh, for crying out loud, pull yourself together. We're done here, right? So go on then. Red told me to get the horse out for you before you got here. Looks like she knew you'd come up with the goods. Ah, she must rate you. Oh dear, what a terrible ordeal you must have been through. I'm so sorry. I won't leave you alone again. I'll never go to the pub like that again. I promise. God, blimey! Well, we're ready to leave whenever you are. What's our next destination? How about trying brains again? Maybe the old geezer will be around to give us some intelligence this time. Let's head back to Pickham. We've got to find out where Dolmagus is. Otherwise, we'd just be wandering around like headless chickens. It would be no hardship to me if I never ever set foot in Pickham again. But I suppose we have no choice.
Long time no see. Back at last, eh? Well, well, look who it is. You came when I was out, did you, Yangers? I'm sorry I wasn't here. But you're back again. So, if I'm not mistaken, you must be in need of some information. Am I right? Always on the ball, eh, Brains? We're looking for this bloke who looks like a clown. Goes by the name of Dolmagus. He's a slippery customer. Keeps getting away from us. Uh yes, I've heard about him. The criminal responsible for murdering the abbot of Maella Abbey, no less. My sources report seeing him walking over the surface of the sea toward the Western Continent. The Western Continent? That's a bit easy, isn't it? Can't you be more spiffy? Sorry, that's all I know. I wish I could tell you more. Well, if you don't know nothing more, Brains, there ain't nothing more to know. We'll have to go to the Western Continent ourselves. A fine idea. But aren't you forgetting something? How do you intend to cross the sea? Eh? Monster attacks at sea have been significantly worse recently. All crossings from here and from the northern continent have been cancelled. You could go if you had your own ship, but unless I'm misinformed, you don't. I'd say that will pose quite a problem. Uh, yeah, I am full of that. No, I can see that. Well, perhaps I can help you out there with a little snippet of information I heard. Follow the cliffs along the coast to the west from Port Prospect, and you will come to a wide open wasteland. According to what I hear, there's an old abandoned ship there. I don't know why a ship should be in a place devoid of water, but anyway, people say it's a magic ship. If you could get it up and running again, you'd be able to sail anywhere you wanted. You might want to try the path to the west of Port Prospect. It was blocked by a rock slide. But I hear that's been cleared up now.
Thank <laughs> you.